I wonder who this could be. Hi there, my name's Tony from down the street. I'm a Jehovah Witness. I just want to know if you believe in God. Um, I certainly do. Believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. What about you? Well, that's great. But you sure you know who Jesus is? Absolutely. I had the born again experience back in the 90s and I decided to get baptized with water and with the Holy Spirit. Born again? Wow. What's that? Well, that's when the Holy Spirit uh, comes into your life and makes you a new person from inside. And as Jesus said, that uh, the eternal life shall well up inside of you because uh, we have received Jesus Christ into our heart and into our life. So is that a thing that uh, the Jehovah Witnesses believe in? Born again, what are you talking about, sir? May I suggest something, sir? That you remove your head from your backside before you address me? I'm sorry, yeah, of course. <laughs> Forgive me, uh, yeah. I mean, born again, you know, it's something that is a concept that, uh, you know, you really have to come down to the Kingdom Hall and we can maybe explain it to you there. Oh, I understand it perfectly well. But do you understand it? Well, tell me what else you believe in, at least. I mean, do you have any prophecies that have came true before? <laughs> oh, prophecies, of course, yeah. Uh, Jesus came back in 1917 uh, to set up his invisible kingdom on the earth. And we're basically the 144,000 are in heaven right now. Hmm. There's this disgusting smell around here. I don't know what it is. It just smells a little bit like uh, bull. Can you smell it too? You know, it's funny you should mention that. You know, I've been smelling something all day. Well, I told you about that now. That nonsense that you're doing. <laughs> Sorry again. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, you know, we have a different kind of a different outlook from normal Christians. You know, but. You know, I'd be glad to spend some time with you to take you through what we believe in. Well, I mean, it's really simple. You know, you confess your sin and before the God of the Bible, and you accept His Son, Jesus Christ. It's not really that difficult. So if you don't do that to the Jehovah Witnesses, um, tell me some other things that you believe. Sir, I'm, I'm just not feeling uh, very comfortable right now. You know, uh, we have uh, such a thing called the Watchtower. And I'd be glad to give you a copy of the Watchtower. You can actually uh, read it, and then I'll come back next week. How does that sound? Alrighty, would that be the Bible and Tract Society as based in New York City, founded by Charles Taze Russell? Hmm. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I have real time to actually read that kind of stuff. Uh, can't you just tell me verbally what you believe in? Look, alright, we believe that Michael is Jesus, and we believe that uh, Jehovah is also Jesus, okay? And we believe that you can't have salvation unless you're Jehovah Witness there. Do you, do, do you understand what I'm talking about now? Are you satisfied? Ha, <laughs> well, it all seems to be coming out now. Yes, I think I understand what you're saying. You're saying that you're a Christian organization, and yet most of your beliefs are not Christian. Would that be right in saying? Head out your backside, please. Okay, well, ours is the true Christian organization. Our beliefs go all the way back to Jesus Christ in the first church, okay? Who's really Jehovah, all right? Do you understand now? Okay, so you do all the feasts of Israel, the Sabbaths and new moons, as the Apostle Paul did, and... Sabbath and new moons? Did Jesus do them? Yeah, it's just a standard teaching that all of Israel kept during that time. We have surprise day. Does that count? Uh, let me see. In a word, no. Uh, so, you don't actually believe in um, the grace of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, you don't believe in the Torah, is that correct? Well, let me try to help you. Basically, when you die, uh, the Bible, the Torah says that uh, one sin can send you to hell fire forever. And that's why we need uh, blood atonement. And that's what Jesus Christ did for us. Uh, that while we were still sinners, he died a bloody and terrible death so that we might live. And he was resurrected on the third day so that all that believe in his name shall be saved. And his Hebrew name is even Yeshua. I don't even know if you're aware of that either. Well, we just find the concept of hell a little bit of a stretch for such a loving God as Jehovah. Uh, you know, Jehovah is love, it says in the Bible. So how could a God of love send people to hell? And yet, you know, you're only going to be saved in the Jehovah Witnesses. So I know it sounds like a contradiction, but uh, 
Absolutely, it sounds like a contradiction. You're right. Um, so what you're saying is, even if I don't join the Jehovah Witnesses, then uh, I won't be going to hell. Um, so, you know, why would I even need to join your group? What I'm saying is that if you believe in Jesus and you repent of your sin, then by His grace, He will save us from the fires of hell and He will take us to heaven. So isn't that a better thing to believe in? Well, I would kind of agree with one thing, that God doesn't actually send anybody to hell, but it is a choice that we actually make. You know, Yahweh is a God of love, and um, it's just because of our insistence to go against His will, um, to make up false religions, and basically go our own way. Um, that's what's going to send people to hell. Um, certainly not Yahweh that does that. He does offer us a way out in the form of his son, Jesus Christ, and all we got to do is repent and trust and believe in him. Well, we have our own little house group, so you're welcome to come around whenever you want uh, for prayer and Bible study. Um, you're welcome anytime, sir. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to feed my dog. Um, you're welcome to come back anytime. So may God bless you.